This is Max Steingart with an important sales tip for the day. One of the great benefits of communicating with people via email and instant messaging is that there is a written record of who said what. Many times people aren't saying no to your business or product, they're saying no to you. Or you miss a vital piece of information someone just told you because you were focusing on something else. Nothing beats the instant replay value of online communicating. If someone asks what do you do, it could be because they're being polite. Or they might be looking for a way to make money online and would have an interest in your business as illustrated by the email communications between Trisha and Norma. It's important to understand the reason behind a person's interest, their why, before you jump into talking too much about your business. It's important to know the background information of everyone you talk to before talking about your business or you risk wasting your time and experiencing rejection. Before talking to people about your business, you should know the answers to these five questions. What do they do? How long have they done it? What did they do before? Are they familiar with the network marketing industry? And why do they want to make money on the internet? In the email exchange we're about to review between Tracy, an online entrepreneur, and Norma, a school teacher, Norma's answers to the five questions indicate she would be a great prospect. Tracy discovers that Norma has a young child. And while Norma loves teaching, She'd like to stay at home with her young child and is anxious to start something. Norma's interest in working with eBay to generate income is serious. Yet once Norma has a clear understanding of how one makes money with eBay versus network marketing, I'm betting she chooses network marketing and elects to work with Tracy. Norma is anxious to get started at something and eagerly agrees to talk with Tracy on the telephone. Tracy will use an online video to explain how the network marketing industry works, so Norma can compare it to eBay. Then she'll use another video to demonstrate her actual business. It won't be long before Tracy closes the sale because Norma is anxious to do something. In any event, Tracy used the five qualifying questions as an important part of her filtering process to ensure that Norma was a serious prospect and candidate before she invited to talk with Norma on the phone in any kind of detail about her business. Even though your initial contact with someone is electronic, instant message or email, it's easy to move to talking on the phone or even meeting face to face. If you want to talk to fewer people and close more sales, make sure you know the answers to these five questions before you talk about your business with anyone. What do they do? How long have they done it? What did they do before? Are they familiar with the network marketing industry? And why do they want their own business? Five questions that will eliminate rejection from your business forever.